throw in for the Lily Whites. Dara Leahy now. Leahy looking for some movement and he gets it from Duffy. Duffy teed up there for Daniel Kelly with the effort. Not far over. Kelly in off his right wing position as he loves to do. It's Duffy. Leahy in support of him. Back heel by Duffy Lee. He maybe not expecting it, but he's won it back here. Now cross in. Oh, and there's a good chance for Daniel Kelly, but a really good save by Lee Stacey. Gets down to his right-hand side. Needed to be agile, and he was. Superb move by Dundalk. Superb save by Lee Stacey. That's excellent play. Just Helen Nemer is listening in tonight. So too is uh, Dean Arrowsmith. He's uh, watching in Chicago this evening. Chris Shields' fan pages watching as well. Here's Alessio Abebe with the possession for Dundalk. Peter Gosling is enjoying the coverage as well. Here come Longford now. Crossed in towards Manley and there's the shot. Oh and it's in the back of the net. Aaron McNally returns to Oriel Park to score. Well, that is a shock given the pattern of the game here earlier on. Early on here. But Aaron McNally met that at the back post. I think the ball initially was intended for Rob Manley. But McNally arriving late and guides it into the far corner. John, what did you make of that one? Oh, it's just totally against the run of play. But in, in fairness, Longford was a wonderful ball into the box. Just between the keeper and the back four. And I think that Darryl Lee was ball watching a small bit. Maybe he could cut between the centre forward and, and his, own, his own player McNally. But in fairness, he came in at the back post and he, he didn't pass. Chest, Dervin in to win it back. Shields once more. Rumours of his impending departure in July have hardened over the last seven days. And, uh, well, interesting to see if Vinnie Perth can change that. Certainly, there have been no denials from any of the parties potentially involved in such a switch. Linfield have been quiet, so too has Shields, and so too have uh, Dundalk. It'll be a huge hole for Dundalk to fill and for Vinnie Perth. It's certainly a problem that uh, Vinnie Perth could have done without if it, if it happens to transpire. Here's the cross in by Daniel Kelly. Duffy, here's Pat Huben. Oh, and he couldn't keep it down, Pat Huben. Well, that was another chance for Dundalk. He's got to be finished. Being pinned back onto his line by the volume of players inside that area. Here comes the corner kick now. And uh, Stacey, well, he's dropped it at first and good... Well competed for by Chris Shields and it eventually dropped for Pat Ubin and cleared away. Very uncertain defending there by Lee Stacey on this occasion. Yeah, he, he's comfortable well and he just fumbled, I think, in fairness to Shields. He, he was on the spot and very... Really seems to have secured that midfield play, Sam Stanton, in recent weeks. Even last week, in that disappointing performance against Waterford, Jim Jilton was at pains to point out that he felt that Sam Stanton had a decent game for Dundalk. Vinnie Perth happy to continue with the Edinburgh-born man in midfield. Here's A. Dervin. Dervin away from Shields. Good run this. He's got a player on his outside. And Dean Byrne with the shot. Oh, it's off the crossbar. What an effort that was. Alessio a BB beaten. But the crossbar, not so. Dervin involved in some of Longford's brightest moments. And he's certainly putting everything into this run. Chris Shields to Domagan and now Murray. Daniel Kelly, he's onside here, and he's in behind Paddy Kirk Kelly. Can Dundalk get players up in support? He can't find the cross. Good run by Kelly. And for once, Paddy Kirk. Well, Lee Stacey less than comfortable under one of these set pieces a few minutes ago. Shields and Hooven are forward. Andy Boyle there too. In goes the cross, and it's in the back of the net. And it's the captain, Chris Shields, who meets it. Shields beats Stacey and Dundalk are level. Opportunity to attack this corner kick. Chris Shields, Dara Lee and Andy Boyle shadowing those three. And it goes towards O'Driscoll. Too high for him. Here's Zambra. Zambra checks back onto his right foot and on the outside again onto his left. Too much height and distance on the cross. Here's Dylan Grimes. Nicolini can't quite hold him up. Grimes with the shot. And, uh, well, Dundalk would be better served ensuring that Grimes doesn't shoot. Kirk plucks it out of the air really well before it can reach the rings end man. 
Here's Stanton, and he's dispossessed by Grimes. Grimes now. Andy Boyle ahead of him. Can he find room for a shot? Grimes, he's gone the long way around, and it's off the line. Brilliant defending back there by Sam Stanton. It looked all ends up. A long for time. Returning to the Dundalk squad this evening, Jurkowskis missed last week's defeat to Waterford due to international duty with Latvia. Jurkowskis first action is to put the cross into the Longford Town penalty area and Greg Slogitz is to find Stanton here's Leahy now Leahy's cross towards Huben with the flick on can't direct his effort on target and even if he had it's a doubtful it's a long raking ball by Paddy Kirk out to that right hand side Tara Leahy no foul against Leahy there's a heavy challenge into Leahy by Carl Chambers. Here's Sam Stanton now. Stanton. Michael Duffy is ever on the shoulder. Peels for offside. And Dock though. Still have it. Chambers holds up Duffy. Here's Leahy. Shapes the cross and still has it. He'll tee up Duffy now. Duffy. Will he go left or right? He goes right and tries to drill in a shot. And it falls oh. for Pat Huben, who can only guide it into the hands of Lee Stacey. Paddy Kirk. Kirk has given that away to Stanton. Stanton has given that away to Zambra. Dervin can't control it. Here is Stanton. Now Daniel Kelly. Kelly with a chance to shoot. And he's pulled the shot wide, Daniel Kelly. And really he's got to make the goalkeeper work at the very least there. Lee Stacey, the man who will try to prevent that. 74 minutes. Can Dundalk hit the front. Pat Huben. And it's saved by Stacey. Huben again. And it's saved again by Stacey. Well, Pat Huben has spurned the opportunity. Way by McDonald. Now Zambra cushions it down to Grimes. Just lifts it forward. Shields to McElhaney and they've given that away, or Michael Duffy rather. And now it's Longford bursting into the Dundalk territory. Cross in is a good one. Oh, Dubs! Oh, my word! How has he not scored? Wonderful sweeping move by Longford down the right-hand side. And when the cross came in, it looked a certainty that Longford would go in front. But it's been a real threat in, in that quarterback role, picking up off the back four and really spraying passes. Free kick for Dundalk. In it goes, and it's a Dundalk head that meets it. But can't keep it down. And was it Pat Huben again? Rakowskis throw in. McElhaney. Here's Leahy, Duffy appealing for it. Tries to return it to Leahy again, and he's done well under pressure from Dervin. Now Slogan, mighty fancy shot, and he does! Oh, and it's saved again by Stacey. Gets down well. And Greg Slogan looking to recre recreate his goal against Bowes. Prince there, he just picked it up and unleashed a shot from all the 25 yards of Stacey again. Wonderful save. Corner kick for Dundalk here. In it goes towards Pat Huben, and it's on the line, and Stacey has saved it again for Longford. Well, Dundalk have had enough chances to win a couple of games. Fended in there by Aaron O'Driscoll. Here's McElhaney once more. Dispossessed by Connor Davis and booted away. But it's come off a Dundalk player. A Dedekun can control. And away by Dervin. Chris Shields now. Slog it. Jurkowskis wants it and gets it. Slog it. McElhaney wants it now. Davis shepherding him. He's found Jurkowskis again. Can he find another cross? More quality from Jurkowskis. Oh, and it's met there by Michael Duffy. But just the wrong side of the post. And while Rivas Jurkowskis, he was...